Now it's been a little over a year now since I was first in contact with this company, Ugreen, and they are the makers of these right here, which is the DXP2800 as well as the DXP4800+. Plus. These are network attached storages known as NAS. I was talking to them in late 2023 and Ugreen actually sent these to me a few weeks ago and I've been using these as my online backup storage. And they're gonna be having a pretty big Black Friday sale, 20% off their storage units. I'll make sure, of course, those links will be down below in the video description. And I'm not gonna go into it as though I know every nut in bolt about this whole system. For me, when I talk to you, Green, the one thing I said is, that, hey, I'm a content creator. I do a lot of photos and videos. I am definitely looking for a backup solution, a backup storage solution. What do you guys recommend? Because this is kind of what I go through pretty much every few months. I will buy a backup hard drive, something like this. And then I'll also buy some sort of portable drive that I carry with me all the time. I will normally just do a quick backup for my memory cards to something like this, an SSD drive. But also when I'm in the field, I ideally would like to also do a cloud backup. And I'll normally always try to do some sort of double backup while I'm in the field, whether it be to an SSD drive as well as my laptop hard drive, or I will do my SSD drive and then possibly up to something like Dropbox. Now, why would I even need stuff like this? Well, if you were to think about it, if I were to simplify things, this is like your personal storage, your online personal storage. So if you were to think of something like a Dropbox, except this is your Dropbox, this is your personal Dropbox. Once your hard drives are in here, all you would do is configure it with your network. You would plug in the ethernet cord here, hook it up to your existing home network. You can now pull files or upload files directly to these hard drives. Now as a content creator, having that dual or redundant backup is definitely important, but using something like this for your clientele is also pretty key because of the fact that you can actually grant access to your folders, to your files, directly from these drives. As long as they can remote in, they will also have instant access to your storage. And it's good for collaboration because like I said, editors, producers, if you wanted to access and make edits or change things, it all happens in real time. Now when it comes to setup and installation, I was honestly kind of intimidated by this because if you're dealing with it's just a ton of hard drives, I felt like these were things that I would not have as on a personal level. You always look at these and you're like, oh yeah, that's something I see at my company. I'll see their RAID system in the back room, in the storage room. But now you pretty much can have your own solution here at home. Like I said, there's a ton of features on these drives and I'm not gonna go into it as though I've used them all. I personally just try to use it as simple as possible and that's really just as that backup storage and access. Now when it comes to setup, this is the DXP2800. This is the one with two bays. So you're able to add in two hard drives into this storage unit. Now to access the bay, all you do is press the button here at the very bottom, pull this out and it comes as a little tray. And there you go. I have the four terabyte Western Digital in here. This is what Ugreen actually sent me. They sent me two four terabytes for this system as well as four four terabytes for this one right here because this one actually is a four bay system. Now each one of these bays can support up to a 24 terabyte hard drive. This one is a little little baby four terabyte one. But if you have two of these, two 24s in here, that gives you 48 terabytes. As well as you can take this bottom off here and you can actually put in two SSD drives up to eight terabytes each, giving you a full capacity of 64 terabytes on the 2800. And like I said, Ugreen actually made it pretty simple to set up. All you do is drop the hard drive into this tray and you press this down and it'll lock into the, the screw holes here on the side. Drop it into the slot and then push it back, lock it, there you go. Now with the 4800 Plus, same thing. You're able to hook up four drives now with the capacity of 24 terabytes per bay, as well as a couple of the eight terabyte SSD drives you're able to add here at the bottom. You can outfit this one with up to 112 terabytes total storage for the 4800. Now once you have those hard drives installed, it's of course gonna come with an ethernet cable, it's gonna come with your power cords, then you're gonna need to set up the software. Now the software for me took me a while. Like I said, I'm not too familiar with these and I'm just trying to look at the most basic use case and that is really just for backup online storage, but they have a ton of other features you could do with this system through their control panel on their desktop app as well as on their mobile app. I had a bunch of questions when setting this up and they directed me to a bunch of videos as well as on their YouTube channel. If you have questions on a specific uh, issue and you're trying to figure out how do I set up permissions, how do I use this as an automatic backup system, they have individual videos on their channel. So make sure you guys check those out if you guys are interested in these. Now, like I mentioned earlier, this is like my personal, I would say online storage, my personal Dropbox that I wanted just to have all my files uploaded to. And for most of the scenarios, I was getting faster speeds trying to upload files to these right here 
versus something like Dropbox. Now when it comes down to build quality, these actually feel really nice. You have this nice dark gray aluminum alloy kind of hard case. And then when it comes down to the hard drive trays, it is this molded hard plastic on the inside. And I do like how easy it is to set up the hard drives. Like I said, this just slides right out and you just can pull the hard drive out just like this. And then if you wanna swap this out, once you, these are all filled up, you can just drop a new one in here and slide it back down just like that. The pins drop right into the hole and then you just pop that back in and lock it up. When it comes down to processing speed, we do have the 12th gen four core Intel processors on both. Now, when I was doing my research a little bit earlier this year, one thing that stood out to a lot of other people that have used these is how quiet they are. Like I said, I don't have any other system to compare them to, but these are pretty quiet. The only time you'll really hear these is of course, if you're accessing a lot of data from it, or if you're loading it up, if you're either uploading a bunch of footage to it, or if you're downloading, you'll of course hear the hard drives moving around, but I don't try to access anything or use it, especially if I'm gonna be recording any videos. Something I like is a little small touch, but it's pretty cool because it is a removable screen that does help filter out any dust that were to come in here. Next feature I really like is that remote access that you do have. So if you are in the field and you wanted to upload or access any of the files on here, as long as you have an internet connection, you can tap into all of your storage. I think this is one of the coolest parts about having your own system is that as you can see here, I'm just uploading files directly to my hard drive that is at home, which is really cool. Uh, I, like I said, I still have my external hard drive here, which is plugged in, but just the ability to be able to not only upload files to my NAS at home, but I can also go through and go to my file manager and I can actually go and pull up a bunch of other footage from my other projects. So if I wanna go through, some older videos here or some other images, I can pull these up. Also, what's really cool is like I said, I keep this next to my computer, at least I keep one of them down below. Under my computer, you do have a couple ports here on both of these. If you wanted just to directly upload footage from your memory cards, from your hard drives, you can plug them into the front here with a USB-A as well as a USB-C port, and they have an SD card slot right there on the very front. Now here on the 4800 Plus, we have a lot more options as far as ports go. We of course have the data ports, we have two of those. You have two USB 2.0 slots as well as a USB 3.2 and an HDMI cable out. And finally, the last thing I like about these drives, which I talk about in a lot of my videos, I'm big on user experience. How easy are they to use? How easy are they to access your footage? The nice thing about Ugreen is that you are able to access your footage, whether it's gonna be on your desktop or on a mobile app. And the one thing I found pretty useful is their search app. I wasn't expecting it to be that fast. However, if you do tag a lot of your stuff better, it'll of course search and be able to find them and query them a lot faster. But if I were just to type in a couple keywords in there, it actually pulls it up really quickly of all the files that either have that in its name. Now, besides the standard search function, Ugreen has also implemented AI album assist. Now, what that means is you can actually train the AI model to recognize specific things, whether it's gonna be people, objects, pets, cars, vehicles. And to train a model is actually pretty simple. All you have to do is either upload or select about 10 images. And here, for example, I was actually using the DJI Mic Mini to train the model. You tell the AI what to look for in the image and then it'll start grouping them into an album. Then when you search for those particular types of photos in the future, it'll then have them grouped. And there it is guys, just a pretty high level overview of how I've been using these right here. This is the DXP 4800 plus. This is the 2800. This can hold up to 112 terabytes. And of course you are able to set this up as a full RAID system. So you're gonna have that redundancy. You'll have hard drives that can back up to one another. And that redundancy is super important, like I mentioned, because you always are gonna wanna have at least two copies of everything. And with that RAID system that you set up here, this ensures you that if you do have a failed one drive, if one of the drives fails, you know it's gonna be backed up to the second drive. And of course, if you guys are watching this, before Black Friday, they are gonna have some pretty big sales on both of these, as well as a bunch of other ones on their website. I will make sure those are linked down below in the video description. As always, if you guys got some value from this video, a big like would be much appreciated. This is Alger Nastasio with flypath.com. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.